Hello, my name is Andy Gardner with Gardner Brothers Land Ag Fencing. Uh, myself and Nick Clark here are going to talk a little bit about the ST400 and the ST400i. Uh, we've been using the 400i for about four months now and been using the ST400, the pneumatic machine, for about two and a half, three years now. Uh, we've had really good luck with them and just wanted to do a little video to kind of show how we use them in our applications if anybody's out there. Uh, we think they've just been phenomenal machines for us. Um, Cole, if you want to get in here a little closer, the ST400i is the um, gas-powered machine. It's got a gas cartridge and a battery right here, and uh, you know, it's totally cordless. Um, you'll see on the side here, it's got an uh, indicator for battery life and an indicator for the uh, um, for the uh, gas back here. <clears throat> if you want to take the gas out, you just hit the blue eject button. Gas comes with the uh, staples. The SD400i, it's got a staple rack, so it's like the 400, and the staples slide up in, and uh, you slam it up top. Uh, the end, you can adjust the end of the ST400i and the 400 with just this hex cap screw and this uh, Allen head wrench that comes here. We currently have it set for our barbed wire application uh, so that we don't drive the staple up completely tight against the post. You can just take this out and put different adapters on the end uh, for different applications. Uh, this one again is what we're using for barbed wire right now. We also are fortunate enough to have <clears throat> this attachment that hooks onto our Pell insulators, and you'll see those in the video that, to follow, um, and how this how this adapter works and how it uh, just really speeds up our process um, for uh, attaching insulators to wooden post. So that's the ST400i. Um, again, it's cordless. Um, there's a charging pack here. And it's got a just a cigarette lighter adapter, and it's also got a 110 plug-in. Um, we use we have a John Deere Gator that we use on site, and so we can charge up batteries on site with this out in the field or in your truck or something like that if you need to. We've had really good uh, battery life with these machines. The batteries seem to go um, as advertised, and the other thing is the um, the gas is as advertised, uh, so you're not getting shorted on gas. As it, when you buy the uh, staples for the ST400i as opposed to the ST400, uh, they'll come in this uh, in this box. See, it says 400i, and what that does is that also includes your gas. So you have to buy um, gas. The gas comes with the staples, and this is a rack of staples. This is what a rack of staples will look like uh, for the 400 or the 400i. Again, the 400i staples will just include the gas, and that's important when you're ordering your staples. Um, the ST400 is a pneumatic machine, and Nick, if you want to plug that in and just show them what's going on there, that was the um, first machine we bought, and that was the earlier uh, machine. Obviously, being attached to a uh, compressor and having a, a cord, that, that is limiting in some applications. We do feel like if we're running uh, staples into like oak boards or just really hard post, we like the ST400 over the 400i, we feel like we can turn the pressure up on this and we get a tighter fit if we're really trying to um, jam staples tight and hold maybe say corral panels when we're building corrals uh, for livestock applications. And you'll see that in following videos. There'll be videos following this that'll uh, talk about the 400i and show it being used in high tensile applications. And then uh, there'll be a video showing the SD400 in a corral application, how it pulls up uh, the corral panels tight to the oak boards. And um, that's really it. We hope you like the video. We hope it's informational. Um, let us know if you have any questions or comments. We like both the machines. We think they're, uh, they're great uh, assets for our, for our business. And um, we're just having a ball with them. Look forward to using them for a long time. So thank you all.